welcome to today's video. So today I've come to York Christmas Markets and I'm terribly excited to show you around. It's a little bit different to last year. So let me start off by showing you where the TP was last year. They now have a giant hut. <laughs> so I'll turn the camera around so you can have a peek. When I say giant, I mean giant. <laughs> I'll give you a walk around it as well. So on the other side, it looks like they have some sausages. Let's take a look. So this is the other side of the building. And if we look over here, it's the dog house. So I'm assuming they do some lovely hot dogs and things here. Should we take a look at the menu? So this is the menu. We've got naked sausage, breakfast, some lovely things there. Right, but just for a bit of context of where it actually is, we've got all of the stalls out. Just here. Goes all the way down to the very end. So we will take a walk over there and take a look at what's here this year. But let's have a look inside this hut. I'm so intrigued. I'll just have to pop my umbrella down though. Right, off we go. as well that was lovely right now let's take a look around all of the chalets and see what they have i'm expecting lots of tipples lots of treats and lots of gifts <laughs> Ooh, york cocoa oh so, apologies if my umbrella gets in the shop york cocoa works that's not too far away they do the most delicious chocolate and we have a little pie stall here Rose Cottage Pantry. Let's have a look at what they have. Yeah, they need some really, really delicious chocolates there. <gasps> they do hot chocolate. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to definitely come back later and get one of those. Ooh, isn't it so exciting to have different cheeses and biscuits and pickles and chutneys and things at Christmas time? It just feels so special. They have a lot of different options here. Black Yak. Let's take a look at some of the things here. Oh my gosh, how cute are these decorations? Alex had a Yak wool hat and it was perfect. I borrowed it all the time until I accidentally shrunk it in the wash. <gasps> so I should probably replace it actually. <laughs> I'll come and have a look again later, see what they have. Oh, this looks interesting. Rainbow names. So I think it's all wooden names in beautiful patterns and things. It's really hard, except for in Wales, to find my name. So shall we see if they have it? No such luck, but they did have my cat's name, although I'm not sure she'd appreciate it as much as I would. <laughs> Ooh, sheer butter. Lovely. Hello. I ended up buying myself a little blusher pot from there, which I'll show you a bit later on. It was lovely. Everything was based around sheer butter. And let's take a look at this marble tree. <gasps> the Lake District. Ooh, I wonder what goods they have. Red Bear, beautiful and affordable handcrafted jewellery. <gasps> There's some gorgeous pieces. Ooh, 
brownie. Oh, so tasty. There's different flavours there. Black Forest, Mint Aero, Raspberry and White Chocolate. So gorgeous. <gasps> York Gin, have a start. Last year I bought. <laughs> I went for one sample and was like, I'm sold and bought a triple pack, which uh, <laughs> swiftly got drank <laughs> it was very tasty oh mulled wine and mulled cider look at all of the different types we've got christmas flirt which is mulled wine with a shot of amaretto that sounds delicious santa's sin mulled wine with a shot of spiced rum <gasps> gorgeous hot chocolate wow original with belgian chocolate three pound fifty there's so many good choices for hot chocolate this year got some chocolate kisses they're absolutely delicious if you don't know what they are there's like a little waffly base and then really soft marshmallow inside and then it's covered in chocolate and it's absolutely gorgeous they're all different flavors It was so lovely in there and the lady that was serving was absolutely the most friendliest person. I'd highly recommend going in and having a chat and having a sniff. I ended up buying two candles, which again, I'll show you at the end, um, both Christmas presents for my Nana. So I hope she enjoys those. And <laughs> let's carry on because I'm running out of space in my pocket in my bag now. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to slow down with my shopping, but there's so many wonderful things here today. Another little pie shop here. This is the Krusty Pie Company and they do different pies, massive sausage rolls. They seem to be quite trendy at the moment. Three for £10 on a lot of the pies there. This is Chocolate Circus. And let me just show you the marshmallows. marshmallows Aha! oh my goodness that's who too cute look at all of these hot chocolates <gasps> chocolate orange mint choc biscoff i'm gonna end up having about five hot chocolates today i think <laughs> so we've got mulled wine and cider and hot chocolates there as well right before we go down this way i think i'm gonna take a walk back over here on the other side to show you what stalls we have and then we'll go and do that bit separately Ooh, I saw that this stall was going to be here today. So there's different wooden board games. I'm wondering if they have a nice chess set because my brother's quite interested in chess. Let's just have a look. Ooh, they do. Wow. They're beautiful. They do all sorts of different board games. I really wish I brought a bigger bag because I just want to buy everything. Ooh, look at this eco-friendly and a tree is planted for every product sold that's lovely it's called indie and they do clothing they also do lots of bags and accessories and things so many lovely things i know i'll probably keep repeating myself but i just can't get over how gorgeous everything is i feel like york is really good with their Christmas market for independent businesses and, and crafts and I think it's really really wonderful for things like that whereas you see you go to some other Christmas markets that are still absolutely lovely but they're like more food based and and things like that so it's really nice that they have some little independent makers and things hand turned pens this gent was here last year and his pens look absolutely gorgeous I'd love to learn how to hand turn a pen. Oh, look at this! Award-winning Yorkshire biscuits. That would be a lovely little stocking filler. Oh, look at these! I saw these last year, they make me so happy. Another cheese stall there, that's, who's that? Cryer stuff, Cryer and Stott. That's who that is, <laughs> it was hard to see. <gasps> look at those balls, they look great. Yeah. 
we're pretty much back at where we started now. We've got a little fudge shop here. A pick and mix service, that's really sweet. And look how gorgeous these are. Okay, so we've gone up and back down again. Now let's go to the other section and see what they have there. It's the first time in years that I've had to carry an umbrella because normally I just put a hood up and don't think about it. And I have never apologised so many times. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting in everybody's way. I'm trying to do the opposite. Let's take a look what else we've got down here. So I've got the cherry tree. Passion is about taste apparently. They have lots of different preserves and things. could absolutely spend a whole day here actually probably more than a whole day here <laughs> just going through everything seeing what wares people are selling and making and creating it's just lovely so we have a crepe stall scandy sausages I actually like the ratio of street food to the craft stalls We'll go this way. I'm going to take over to the Shambles Market because they often have a few different street food places there. So let's see if they have anything at the moment. No, wait, let's just look at this a second. This is too cute. Wow, how good does that look? It looks incredible. You know what? It's so hard filming when I'm just so excited to talk to everybody. <laughs> Every stall that I go to, I'm like, oh, that looks amazing. Let's talk about it. <laughs> so sorry if the footage is a little bit snip here, snip there, but I'm just so excited to talk about everything. Okay, I'm taking you to the Shambles Market now where there'll be even more street food, hopefully. <laughs> So as you can see, and probably know, York streets are so gorgeous and they'll hopefully be getting a bit lit up later on as well. So I'll take you for a little walk when the sun sets and we can have a beautiful Christmas light walk around York and see what we see. So I've got another crepe stall here, different one, and some hot dogs, some burritos, Los Maros. Wonder what kind of food that is. Should we take a look? Halloumi and falafel wraps, salad boxes. So these are here all of the time. And then you can sit inside this little bit here to eat them if you want to. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a little bit of time to have a little walk around, go in some shops, have a look at some Christmas shopping kind of things. I know that in the shambles there's a Christmas shop, so we're gonna head in there and take a peek around. And also some other bits and pieces down the shambles I think are perfect for Christmas shopping. So I'm gonna obviously bring you along with me and then we'll head back to the market, head to all of the lights once it's gone dark and grab something to eat and drink. I'm just waiting for Alex to meet me. He's got a meeting in York today, which is quite fortuitous. So <laughs> that's why he's not here currently and I'm waiting for him to get something to eat and drink. So let's take a look in some of the gorgeous shops down the Shambles whilst we wait for him and for the sunset. So we are currently at the Shambles. There's lots of Harry Potter themed shops here, but there's also lots of other things like Hebden Tea and, and there's a Christmas shop as well, like I said. So let's take a look in some of them. Maybe I could buy my brother a set of wizard's chess. <laughs> so that was the shop that must not be named, which as you can probably tell was heavily uh, <laughs> Harry Pottery. <laughs> And next door to it is the Nutcracker Christmas shop. Let's take a look inside there.
Oh wow, this shop is called the Society of Alchemists and it's brand new. It literally opened about a week ago <laughs> and it's absolutely incredible inside. The things that they sell, it's completely on point. It's really like magical and spooky and it really suits the shambles. So if you're into things like crystals and skulls and magic and things like that, definitely pop inside. I think it just feels Christmassy to be in the shambles, to be honest. <laughs> and I couldn't come down the shambles without mentioning the York Ghost Merchants. So in there you can buy little hand-painted ghosts. And just to tell you how popular it is, this is the queue. <laughs> and it often goes around the corner as well. So if you are interested in getting a little ghost, I tried to come at a not so peak time. just walked across now to the Imaginarium and the Yorkshire Soap Company so I'm going to go into the Imaginarium first as that has a massive Christmassy section at the back and then I'm going to go into the Yorkshire Soap Company which also is perfect for little Christmas presents I'll show you what they have it's incredible So I'm just back outside of the Imaginarium now. Look at this in the Yorkshire Soap Company's window. <gasps> it's fantastic. These are soaps, would you believe? The little Christmassy cupcake soaps and little gingerbread men soaps. Let's go inside and see what else they have that's Christmassy. Okay, I'm back outside now. I do want to say that both of these shops do non-Christmas type gifts as well, but I was just so excited by the Christmassy ones and as you can tell, I'm quite festive at the moment, so that's what I showed you. <laughs> but they do have all sorts, both of them. setting and all of the beautiful lights are on now and look how lovely oh sorry ignore that bin <laughs> it's not the best place to stop and show you is it let me try again so all of the stalls are now beautifully lit up and all of the trees have got lights in them as well now it feels extra extra Christmassy and the whole of York is lit up as well so I think and would suggest we should take a little walk around and see the beautiful lights before getting some tea. Alex has just joined me so we can get some food for Alex and I might have a little nibble and I'm fancying a delicious hot chocolate as well so let's just enjoy the Christmassy ambiance. <laughs> interlude let's take a look in Cathay Wolfhart I'm so sorry about the pronunciation but it's another amazing Christmas shop look how cute all of this is it's so special let's take a look inside
Wow, it was wonderful in there. Okay, back to having a little walk around the beautiful streets of York. Okay, we've had a lovely walk around, having a look at all of the beautiful lights and decorations. Now, oh, sorry, it's got a little bit dark. Now, we're going to go and get some food. Here we are, back again at Bamboo Box. So I'm going to go for the shake fries, cause they looked so good. Here we go, so here are the topped fries. We just got one in the end because we thought they were so big. So we're gonna share this and then maybe get another few treats. Mm. Apparently, they make their own sauces and it is very, very good. Mm. Delicious. That was incredibly delicious. And now we're in the mood for hot chocolate. So let's have a little look around and see which one we choose. Okay, I've definitely chosen. I now just need to choose which flavour I want. Too many options. <laughs> Look so they made me a completely vegan hot chocolate with vegan marshmallow and vegan whipped cream. And I'm so happy. And look at this cute little biscuit. Oh, it's like a meal in itself. <laughs> it's biscoff, in case you couldn't tell. Incredible. Right, well I've just arrived home now and I wanted to show you the things that I bought from the market. So you saw my chips and you saw my hot chocolate. But let me show you the items and objects that I bought. So first of all, I bought something from the Shea Alchemy. Just this little pot here. And it's a cream blusher and it's made with sheer butter and you just take a bit of it, pop it on your cheek and it gives you a lovely blush. And I also popped into the Yorkshire Candle Shop and got two candles for my Nana for Christmas. So I got this one here, which is tobacco and nectar. It's a really, really nice fragrance. I would happily have that burning. And then the second one I got, because it was two for 10 pounds, I got homegrown tomatoes, which sounds very, very strange to have in a candle, but it works. Like it really works. I have had the loveliest time getting all festive and excited. I hope you've enjoyed it too. If you have, feel free to give it a little like, a little thumbs up, and maybe consider subscribing so I can take you on more days out with me. I hope you're having an amazing time. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye!